This is a ProPresenter 7 beginner tutorial. It may look complicated, but we'll be showing you some of the amazing features of this software in a simplified manner. Now, the interface can be broken down into four main parts. The menu buttons and tabs, the left panel, the main space, and the right panel. Now, at the top, we have the menu buttons and tabs. The file here contains options to select new presentations, playlists, and libraries. When you go to the edit, it has commands to deal with common functionalities and it has keyboard shortcuts to breeze through these commands. Now, the presentations and screens here handle options for events and displays. The search icon here allows you to search through your library if you wish to be specific and save time. The text button here presents you with customizable options to adjust the display text of your lyrics or text to your preference, such as the font, the size, the alignment, and other properties that come with text. If we have a brief skip to the right, here is the show tab, which is a primary tab used to control your show live during events. Now the edit tab will bring you to a full screen where you can edit and rearrange your slides. The reflow here is a tab that takes you to reflow editor where you can edit each of the slides and this makes editing on this level more accessible. Of course, there are more editor tabs. We can look here under more, the three dots that are located just beside the reflow. And here we have the stage editor, the theme editor, props and mask editor. So you can see that the functionality here is to meet the various needs of different users for different presentations or events. Then over to the left panel, here it contains the display options for your library and playlist. The library here is like a store or database to save your saved media and presentations. The playlist here displays specifically created playlists for files for each pre-ordered event. And then when we look at the item, the item here shows you individual presentations or files found in the selected playlist. Now the main space, which is taking up most of the space here, it does this because it displays a preview of media, text and lyrics, motion graphics, and this helps you to have a sneak peek preview of what you may wish to display or project. And at the left bottom corner here, you have the transition effect options. Now by default, you have these options such as cut, dissolve, but if you want more, you can actually click on the advanced option here where you have other options for your slides, as you can see here, which is displaying. So there are other options we can select from here. However, if we click on the cut, and we click on, on this slide and we press the space bar. When we look over here, you can see the transition effect and we click on space bar again. The transition effect is like a cut. If we want it to be dissolved, when we click on dissolve here, when we click on the space bar, you can see the dissolve works just fine. And of course, like we mentioned, you can have a more specific transition effect if you want. It is important to note that whatever you choose will affect all slides in the display queue here in the main space. And of course, you can adjust the duration of this transition. Now, when we look at the bottom right corner of the main space also, you can see that we can switch views easily. Now, currently we're in the grid. We can go over to easy view. And now easy view simply takes away everything and just displays the text, helping you just to focus on the text. And you could do sort of a proof reading just by a glance. And then when you come over to the next one, it's like a list. So it's simply listed showing a little thumbnail and the information you can find in the display. And of course, you could increase this or reduce this as you want from left to right. Now over here at the right panel here at the top, it shows you what is currently being displayed or projected. And by the right of this display screen, you have some other control options to what is being projected. And while you may select multiple buttons at the same time, you can unselect them by clicking on the ones you want to clear, or you can simply click on the X button and this clears everything. So in summary, we've just shown you a beginner tutorial of ProPresenter 7, showing you the workflow from the left to the middle to the right. To make it easy, you can think about it with that flow. Having the presentation on the left, when you select it, you have it over here in the different views, which we've selected here. And then whatever you select will be displayed on the right side. And this is what is going to be projected to your audience. 
So I hope this tutorial has helped you to get more comfortable with the interface, the buttons, and to know the expected flow of how things work here on ProPresenter 7.